what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel today i'm very very excited but nervous at the same time you know just got that feeling so today we're going to be reacting to the album by blackpink i have so much respect for blackpink they are phenomenal they work so hard they deserve every bit of success they've they've got right now they're like crazily popular like it's insane um i never really listened to the album when it came out of course i listened to ice cream because that song was everywhere i mean i couldn't escape it and also i love selena gomez so i had to listen to it but i've never listened to the album in depth and i've never listened to all the songs so i decided today i'm gonna do it you know i'm gonna do it um i'm very scared it's only a short album i think it's only eight songs but you know quality over quantity you know so yeah it's very short only a 24 minute album damn what's wrong with the songs being short the first track is how you like that all right god hey beautiful voices Voices are beautiful. <laughs> now, I'm gonna need to talk with whoever produced this song because they deserve all the awards. That song was. Wow. Right. My favourite. I haven't even listened to the whole album yet and that's my favourite. It's my favourite. That's my favourite, you know. The next track is Ice Cream. I have heard this song and I have seen the music video. I just want to hear a little bit of the track because I really enjoy it. Right, next track is Pretty Savage. Interesting. The production is very unique. Feel intimidated by that power, you know? Nice. I really like this like slow down bit. It really helps the beat in the chorus hit harder. Which is coming in three, two, one. Never mind, I got it wrong. That caught me off guard. It caught me off guard. I liked it, but it caught me off guard. I was expecting the huge bass drop thing to come in again, but they've slowed it down. <laughs> it's my favorite. The first three tracks I have really enjoyed so far. I'm actually really impressed. I told you, quality over quantity. Because so I'm really impressed with the production. The next track is Bet You Wanna with Cardi B. This will be interesting. Mm -hmm. 
Let me know, dude. I like this chorus a lot. You never know what's coming with them, do you? Like that, like that. Um, Cardi's verse was pretty short. Um, maybe they could have made it longer. I don't know. I kind of preferred the chorus over the verses. It's still good. Still a great song, though. Um, I think it's a grower. Definitely a grower, in my opinion. I think it'll grow on me. It'll be one of those tracks that'll, that'll like, stand out if I listen, when I listen to the album over and over again, you know? Next track is Love Sick Girls. I have heard a lot about this one, actually. I have high hopes, you know? <laughs> They keep scaring me with a beat drop, but it just goes into something else. Come on now. What? I'm scared where it's gonna go. Pre chorus and chorus. And You can imagine this at a club, definitely. Okay. It's my favourite. That was an unexpected. I didn't expect the beat drop. Wow, when people said good things about that song, they meant it. They meant it. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Next track is Crazy Over You. Okay. Where are we going? Where are we going? I'm crazy over you. Hmm. I really like this pre chorus. I really like that. Um, this will definitely be a grower. I know it will. Because I like simplistic production, and this is quite simplistic. There's something that's a part of me that just wants the beat to hit a little bit harder. I really like that though. Hey. I like this bit. You know what? I wasn't feeling the song at the beginning and then the ending happened. Wow, I really like that ending. It really helped just add a little bit more oomph to the song, you know, because I don't... I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but you know when the beat, you just want the beat, the part inside you wants the beat to hit just a little bit harder. Um, but I think it kind of redeemed itself at the end. That beat was very hard hitting at the end. Next track is Love to Hate Me. They have really beautiful melodies. Hey. <laughs> Where are we going? Hey, 
They added more to the chorus. You know, I really liked the release in the chorus, you know, because it kind of was just so simple, you know, it just went... And it worked really well, and then they just kept adding more layers to the end chorus, to the last chorus. It was really nice. I really enjoyed that, actually. You know what? I'm really impressed. They really said quality over quantity, and I'm going to keep repeating that because it's true. They did. The next track is You Never Know. So crisp, so clear their voices. over. Wow, that was an abrupt ending to a great album. It's crazy. So much respect for them, you know? I'm like dead impressed. I think I can't wait to re-listen to the whole album again. It's such a fun, such a fun album, you know? I think regarding my favourites, I think, hmm, I think How You Like That, Ice Cream, Pretty Savage, Love Sick Girls was, I think, my first, I think that's definitely my first favorite. Definitely that like top tier, that is. Love to Hate Me and You Never Know are my favorites. I think Crazy Over You and Bet You Wanna are growers to me. They will grow when I keep re-listening to the album. I know they will, trust me on this. They will grow, I have a feeling. Let's do the outro on my phone. If that's all right with you. Thank you so much for joining me guys. This was a great, great album. I'm dead impressed, you know. It's, they did really well for their debut album, you know. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Love you guys.